Let's turn off for Piccadilly, named after a type of lace collar that was fashionable in the reign of Elizabeth I. Blackadder put it rather well when he said it made one look like a bird which has swallowed a plate. Anyway, a chap made a fortune selling these daft things and bought up the street. Today, Piccadilly is the home to some great luminaries of the modern retail world. That queue you may be passing is waiting to experience the original Hard Rock Cafe, founded in 1971 by two young Americans with a love of rock and a penchant for memorabilia. Eric Clapton was a regular in the early days and donated his Red Fender II lead guitar, which prompted Pete Townsend to bring his instrument round with a note saying, mine's as good as his, or as big, I'm not quite sure. Anyway, they also serve that American invention, burgers. Opposite is that verdant stretch known rather unimaginatively as Green Park. It may look bucolic, with happy couples strolling with an ice cream, but in times past it was a haunt of highwaymen and other bad sorts who would plunder your carriage for your money, your wife's jewels, and possibly your daughter. Not necessarily in that order. You are more likely to hang on to your daughter at the Ritz Hotel, genteel home to high society. She will enjoy tea at the Ritz, although when you receive the bill, you may well feel you've been summarily robbed. Having tea at the Ritz is not to be missed. They do like a jacket and tie, though, because they like to keep up appearances. So, too, after a long lunch at the Wolseley, a cup of sweet blend at Fortnum and Mason, or a touch of retail therapy at Burlington Arcade. Let us be very clear, Piccadilly is a hazard for your wallet. You're much better off settling down for a good old black and white film at prestigious BAFTA, the British Academy of Film and Television Arts, where you don't even get stung for overpriced popcorn. Thank goodness for that.